Oh, what is up, you guys? My name is Keith, and welcome back to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator. Guys, we are jumping back into this straight away after the last episode. Not sure when this video is going to go up, but uh, it's fine. If you're here, don't forget to subscribe if you guys like the content. We are starting off here. We are in Zurich. We're doing some quick jobs. I literally just got the game, so uh, expect some pretty cool shiz happening. What do we have here? Truck tires, empty pallets, wood shavings, more lumber, fresh fish. Okay. Where's this going? This is going to burn, which we just came from, so I don't want to really do that. Uh, we'll, we'll do this. Um, we'll do... Some, no, cheese, peanut... Peanut butter jelly time! Let's do... Let's take some fuel tanks up to Strasbourg. I think we should do that. I think, we should, I think we'll do that. Let's take that job. 207 kilometers. Let's do it. This music is jamming, let me tell you. So we're starting in Zurich. How many of you guys are from Zurich? Do you have any viewers from Zurich? I'm kind of curious. I know a lot of you guys, uh, there is some some of you guys from uh, Switzerland, so that'd be really cool to find out. Okay, so we got about three hours to get there. That's all good. We'll have a little discovery thing as well. We're taking one of these uh, Stokes trailers as well. Let's start up the truck. Put some lights on. I like it, man. <laughs> I get it. It says man on the truck. I'm so funny. Okay, let's um, let's get out there. Let's get on out there. How are we doing on gas? Got about half a tank. That shouldn't matter. Let's do this. Pretty sure this is where we exited uh, the first place as well. Okay, but this time, wait, does this does this truck have a sat nav? I don't think it does. Just realized that this truck doesn't have a sat nav, so we're gonna be using this. To figure out where we're going. Because uh, the truck doesn't have a sat nav on it that I can see. So let's get out there. Okay, how you guys doing today, guys? You have discovered a recruitment agency. Nice. Like the freaking... Uh, it's lit. <laughs> I don't know. I always have trouble figuring out what to talk about during these videos. But I'm excited. Just because everything is completely new. There's a lot of discovery points in Zurich. Love the way the lights look as well. This is so pretty. This is so cool. I love I love your truck already. I'm really I'm really pumped to play this. Let's get on out there. Still gonna be learning the, the the laws of the road and stuff, but we'll figure it out as we get get on the road. If you know what I mean. Now, can you make right turns on red? Can you make right turns on red in uh, a different place? I actually have no idea in here because in the states we can make right turns on red but I don't think you can do that anywhere else so we'll just say that we can't unless people start honking at us or something so should be good okay we are out here I like this daft truck dealer discovered found ourselves a daft truck dealer that's cool what if I don't want a daft truck dealer, though? What if I want a skinny or some other thing? I don't know. I like the streetlights, too. They're very basic. I like it. Very much like it. They're up here instead of across the street like it would be in America. I don't know how you see it. You'd have to go off of this one, I suppose, instead of these two top ones. Get ready. I like how it goes red, yellow, and then green instead of just straight up red to green. Okay, guys. You do know it's my light, which means I'm uh, going. You sillies. Okie dokie. Also, guys, literally just bought the game for Amber as well, um, which she has no idea of because uh, it's a birthday tomorrow as of when I'm recording this. But for you guys, it's already happened. Um, so happy birthday, babe. Love you so much. Thank you for all of the uh, fun times. And also, thanks for Outlast. Uh, she got me Outlast, and that series would have never happened on the channel uh, without her. So I thought, you know what? She got American Truck Sim. Uh, to play with me, I got a, I got a Euro Truck Sim uh, for myself because it was on sale. Why not get it for her too? Because um, this will be a little bit more her style, I think. Because it's a little bit more like European. Oh god, I'm dying already. Not the best. I still have to get used to the driving and the, the whole like flat nose and, and everything. And the, the diaphragm and all this other big wordage of things that I'm not used to. But... We'll see, because I'm not used to the, the road system, the, the very narrow roadways in Switzerland, let me tell you. It feels like they're very narrow anyway. Maybe they're not, but to me, it just feels like they're very narrow. Okay, we need to get over here. 
That's another thing I'm going to have to get used to is the whole freaking the lane getting cut off all the time. Let's get ourselves up here. Get ourselves up here, boys. I'm having a lot of fun with this game already, though. It's, it's a lot of fun. And it's super pretty. There's always something to look at, which I can't wait to actually get my own truck so I can actually drive um, along my own way and just explore things. Now, which truck should I buy, guys? Um, which brand do you think is the best? Now, in American Truck Sim, and I'm going to be referencing American Truck Simulator a lot more throughout these videos because uh, that's all I've played. That's all I really know. I don't know Euro Truck at all. Um, so I'm going to be referencing it, so I'm sorry if that gets annoying, but, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little curious. I played around with the Volvo in there, and it looks really nice. I like it a lot. Um, I don't know if it's the same as, as this one. Um, I know the look is a little bit different and more Americanized, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We got 80 on the, on the limiter here. Set cruise there, 81. Um. So yeah, I'm just I'm just curious what what brand would you guys like to see me drive? Would you guys like the um, oh, we got some construction oh 50 through here okay that's pretty neat I like that I like that a lot actually we should be able to speed it back up right nope still going 50 through here okay slow it down a little bit more um, so what brand would you guys like me to drive of truck would you guys like to see the Scania's the the, the Volvo the because those those are like the two main ones that I'm gonna like to drive um, just because I like the look of them a little bit more Mercedes Benz I also like the Mercedes as well um, so out of, out of those three I don't think I'm gonna be driving the Mac ones as much or the DAF um, but we'll see what happens we will see what happens there goes a the Mercedes right there that's cool We should be able to speed up pretty soon now since we are getting out of the construction. They're working on that tunnel there. That's really awesome. I love how big the signs are too. Because in America, they're over top. Oh, I guess they are over the top like that as well. But they're the ones that are on the side of the road, they're very, very big. Wow, we got 100 on this one. Uh, 80 for trucks, but 100 for cars. Wow. Look at these big... Whoa, that's so cool. I need to get over. That is so freaking cool. Look at that. I just want to freaking look at the look. I just want to look really quick at like all of this stuff that's happening. Wow! I'm gonna grab ourselves a thumbnail here. Why not? And we are back, my friends. We got ourselves a thumbnail. Love it. I'm gonna get back over in this lane now. My marker three. I'm guessing we're on the three. Is the, is the highway name? We're gonna get up here to eighty and get a cruising. Get a cruise. I'm very excited to get into Euro Truck, start leveling up, start playing this a lot more, driving in this game. Um, I know Amber's going to love it as well because it's just a lot of fun. And if you guys want to play multiplayer with us, um, I'm definitely going to be getting multiplayer for this as well. So uh, you guys can join the streams. That'll be a lot of fun. Because uh, we did convoys in American Truck Sim with you guys, which that was freaking amazing. That was, that was plenty of fun. I love the way the uh, little on-ramps, uh, well, not the on-ramps, but the little rest stops look. They, they're really nice. They're basically just, you just get straight on, straight off, instead of having some sort of exit. I wonder if the gas station areas look the same. I'm just, I'm basically just comparing this to ATS, even though this came out first. But I, I already love this way more, <laughs> just because it's like, there's a lot to look at. And it's not just, it's not just deserts, you know what I mean? I wish the gas station areas were a tiny bit bigger, though. I feel like they're a little bit more compact, but maybe that's how they actually are. Who knows? I don't know. I wish this truck had a set nav, though. It doesn't. That's a little bit of a bummer. But how are you guys doing today? Strasburg, Metz, straight ahead. You guys having a fine day? If you guys are enjoying the episode, uh, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button while you're here. And if you guys want to hit that subscribe button for more content in the future, uh, that'd be awesome as well. We got a little quaint village over there on the side. We got another little village over there. I love the amount of trailers you can choose from as well. I cannot wait to get into the freight market and uh, get a truck and actually customize it and get all the mods for... Oh, it's going to be so good. Um, I'm excited because a lot of the skins for these trucks look amazing. I've seen in other people's videos, so I'm really excited. We got 90, which is... Wow, it's legit 90. Okay. I'm going to stick it like 80 for now. We might speed up a little bit, but I'm, I don't want to go too fast. I don't want to go too, too, too fast. Might go like 85-ish. Speeds are a lot faster as well. 
Um, I know it's 90, but it's like 90 kilometers an hour. I don't know what that would be in miles per hour. I think 120 kilometers an hour is like 65 in miles per hour. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me, but uh, we'll see. But I, lo I love this compared to ATS. And I know I'm going to compare it a lot. And you guys will be like, shut up. But like, that's all I got to compare it to. And it's 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 really, really, really good. I love this. It's, it's There's something to see. Which is so freaking cool. I like this one. This one's a little bit cooler. You get to actually like turn off and get off. And there's like a little place to actually park your truck. That's nice. And I love the fact that there's other trucks just chilling there as well. Uh, throughout the whole thing. It's not just one truck here or there. It's like the whole time. Which is really nice. Um, I would get over and let these gents in. But like there's a guy in the other lane. So get back up here to 90. 68 kilometers to go. So not too much further. We'll probably just do one load today. Since it's a little bit longer load. Uh, the first video was more of a tutorial. And just uh, like showing you guys what the game is all about. Um, I might do little tutorial bits here and there every now and then. I'm not 100% sure if I feel like doing that or not. I might. Like how to park the truck. How to how to do certain things. But I'm not a, I'm not an ace. I'm not, a, I'm not you know the best driver ever. Especially because I've literally just started this playthrough. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. It's not really a playthrough, it's just a series, but we're gonna, we're gonna build up our company here. We're gonna get a truck soon. I'm gonna do a lot of these loads in my spare time. Part of me doesn't want to do loads in my spare time because I want to show you guys everything so you guys see my genuine reactions to things, but at the same time, I want to get a truck and get it over with so that way I can show you guys some real content instead of just demo type stuff. Um... This is the full game, by the way. Don't get that mixed up. I just I just meant the quick jobs are more like a demo. It feels a lot more like a demo than anything when you're just jumping back from the same place and you actually can't go pick up a trailer and do all the main things that you normally would do. Strasbourg! We are... Dude, this is cool. Look at this. This big barrier for noise. That's so cool. And there's like glass as well. Or is that just a fence? I have no idea. I love the bright colors as well. Okay, we're going to be continuing here, so we need to get over, because this, pretty sure this, uh, what the fudge, bro? Oh my god, that legit scared me, oh my god. Homeboy fucking wrecked me. Oh, come on, the one time, the one time it doesn't cross off. Come on, dude. I swear that orange car was in the freaking other lane. Could have swore, dude. God damn, how much damage did we get on the trailer from that? Okay, no damage. That's that's lucky. We are very lucky about that. Let's get over. So we have to take this exit anyway up here. We are exiting into Strasbourg. Dude, I'm so excited. Gonna get in this lane because we are gonna be getting off. This is so cool. There's like a roundabout inside under the tunnel. That's so awesome. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for any trucks here. Now, the roundabouts are going to be a little bit tricky. We do have roundabouts in uh, America, but not as many as in the European countries. So I'm excited. Strasbourg discovered. Bon voyage. Got an achievement here. Hopefully, I'll be getting a lot of achievements. We should be discovering... Uh, we got a, No, that wasn't a dealership. I thought that was a dealership, but it was not. Okay, I feel like I'm, like, way over to the right. Um, and I can go a lot further to the left if I wanted to. Like, on the roads. Like, look at how much space I have on the left there. And I already feel like I'm way over. Okay, let me get in the right lane here. Here we go. Because our destination's right up here on the right. I love the towns, too. The little villages are a lot bigger than I would expect. Wow, you really have to get way over here. Gonna have to get used to that. Loving these little quaint villages, though. I like it. Gonna be making a left turn out of here. Out of here. And the light turned green. We gotta make sure that we yield. Okay. Love this. Love this so much. Oh, it's so much fun. I love the fact that um, the trucks turn very nice as well. And I don't have to worry about this big nose thing sticking out of the front. It's really good. I like it a lot. I'm going to be turning here. 
Still getting used to the brakes. Might have to turn that down in the menu so they're not super, super sensitive. Okay, postpaid. Let's see if we get this thing... Uh, See if we can get this thing parked properly. Hopefully they don't put some stupid thing in our way like they did last time. In freaking last episode, there was a tractor that, that was like parked where I needed to put the trailer. And I was like, what do I do? <laughs> Can't do anything. And I had to cancel the load. I thought that was pretty silly. Okie dokie. This looks very similar to the other drop off that we did before. Ooh, nice. I like that trailer. That's really cool. That's neat. That's pretty neat. Let's get this thing in here. And we can pull straight up. We can pull her straight on up there, boy. I tell you what. Let's get this trailer wrapped around here. This should be a pretty easy drop. I like it. Looking good. Boom. Nailed it. Looking, looking tasty fresh. Tasty fresh. Let's drop her off. What do we got here, boys? Man, oh man, oh man. Careerist number two achievement. 210 kilometers, three hours, 65 liters of fuel, 40 XP on that park job. We got 250, 3,000. That's not too bad at all. And we got our first skill point, ADR training. The transportation of dangerous goods demands well-trained professionals. Use your hard-earned experience to acquire the following ADR certificates and substantially increase your income. Okay. So we have eco-driving, which is going to uh, help our fuel consumption. We had just-in-time delivery. All these are the same as uh, before. I'm going to go with uh, high-value cargo for our first one here. And we are applying. Keep track of your uh, garages. Hire new drivers and otherwise manage your company here. So here we go. We are 6,000 in debt. Awesome. <laughs> you know what? We're running on 18 minutes. But you know what? I don't know. Part, part of me wants to just keep going. But nah, we'll end it here. We'll give you guys on a cliffhanger. But this is going to wrap it up for this episode of your, your Truck Simulator, guys. If you guys want more... Uh, then I will definitely be recording more. I'm probably going to record more right after this, to be honest. I just want to keep recording a lot. We're going to be doing, like, 20-minute episodes and, and just mess around. Hopefully, we can get one pretty soon and get a truck. Because uh, I do want to start adding a lot of mods soon. But if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on the video. I love you guys. Put a big smiley face, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye-bye.